Hi everybody, Rose and I are here to teach you math today and we want to talk about doubles. You've probably heard of doubles before. That means you have two of something. In math, doubles means you're adding a number to itself, like two plus two. Doubles is a good strategy to have memorized because you can use doubles to help you add other numbers. But first, let's think of some doubles that we already know. You have some doubles on your body. For example, you have five fingers on one hand and five fingers on the other hand for a total of ten fingers. You have one ear on one side and one ear on the other side for a total of two ears. You might know that three plus three equals six, or eight plus eight equals 16. One thing that I've learned about our class already this year is that you are all really good at doubles already. Not every first grade class that I have had is already good at doubles before they get to first grade. When I say you're good at doubles, I mean that you have a lot of them memorized. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 4, 7 plus 7. You know them already, which is great because that can help you add near doubles, which we'll get to in another lesson. But a near double is when you add something like 7 plus 8, where it's almost a double, one away from being a double, but if you have those doubles memorized, then it can help you with number sentences that are really close to being doubles. Today, you are going to watch a song video that I posted that's all about doubles, and then you're going to get out your math journal and turn it to page 57. It looks like this. Rose wants to see too. Hi, Rose. She's ready to do her math journal. And it says, think of numbers that you can add together that you know would make a double, know would not make a double, and are not sure about. Write them in the columns. So first, you could probably use the numbers from that video that you watched that are examples of doubles. It's adding a number to itself, right? In the middle, you're writing examples of not doubles. That could be literally any other number sentence or equation or fact that you know. At the end, it says not sure. That would be probably bigger numbers that you're not quite sure what they add up to just off the top of your head. And that's okay. It's okay not to have every fact in the world memorized, right? We're working on memorizing our facts. But at the end, you're writing examples of number sentences that you're not quite sure what they equal. And their first example is 13 plus 31. You'd probably have to think about that one for a while before you just know right away what the answer is. So today on Seesaw, your job will be to post a picture of this page, page 57, showing at least three examples in each column. That's a total of nine number sentences on this page. So at least three examples in each column. Then you're going to do a page of math boxes. The page of math boxes you're going to do is page 47. Now we tend to skip around in this math journal a lot because we don't do every single page in the book even though we do every single lesson. Sometimes I'll have you do the work from a page in a different way. We just won't show it in our math journal, but I'll have you do it like in class on a whiteboard, or I'll have you do it in some other way to post on Seesaw. We do every lesson, we just don't do every page. But the page you're doing for math boxes today is 47, and you notice on my example, I have a big red X on number four. That's because number four says, how many posters are on your classroom walls? Well, you're not at school right now, so you can't count the number of posters on the classroom wall. And I'm guessing that your house doesn't have posters all over the walls. So we're just going to cross that one out. If you really wanted to do it, you could count the number of 
pictures or frames or artwork on your walls at home and then explain how you counted them. But if you'd rather just cross that one out and skip it, that's fine. All right, I'll look for pages 47 and 57 on Seesaw from you today, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Say bye, baby rose. <laughs>